ready to make another soap. I've actually made it here. Um, you've seen me make this one lots of times if you've been here a while. This is 4 and 20 blackbirds and in this video I'm making two of these but all in one go, so out of one pot, um, which I've not done before. So this is 28 pounds of soap finished. Um, I'd normally pour one and then you know pour off my oils and do the second one but I did this all in one go so I do get a little bit stressed but I did manage to do them both and yeah it went pretty good so if you'd uh, been following my following my Instagram this week you'd have seen this go up yesterday as a post so I'll show you the making and then we'll come back and do the cut okay I'm going to pour my lye into my oils here and they're kind of um they've definitely cooled down this has been sitting for about two hours and I left it in here because this is easier to pour than putting it into a big plastic bucket with no handles so I'm just gonna pour my lye into here and give it a stick blend to a very light emulsification because I do not want this to fly on me I'm nervous, I'm nervous, it's a big batch, I haven't made a batch this quite this big, I can't even remember the last time, probably when I was at my old workshop, I would normally just do a batch and then another batch, you know, if it was like, if I needed two batches made, I would just make two, like, smaller batches, so we're going to see how this goes, hopefully it won't go awry, so I'm just going to stick blend that to a light emulsification. fluid state than normal. I'm going to bring my moulds in already. Okay, so my fragments. I'm going to just pour in some of that. And reserve the rest. So this one does have a tendency to actually thicken up a bit, so we're going to be careful now. I'm going to reserve some of this white for the end, so I'll be careful not to pour it all out. So I want about four and a half kilos going into each of these, and there is a guide inside this pan. It says it's 19, it's about 20 litre pan, but it only goes up to 19 on the measurement, so I want four and a half to be left in the bottom. I'm going to pour that now and just show you that. I'm going to start with this one. Just 
excuse the noise if you can hear people outside. Be able to see it now where we are at. Okay, and we're pretty much correct the window. Oh, stressed, so stressed. Okay, now colours. So I'll start with my. Is this a red riot or something? I think this is called. I think it's red riot. Okay, so I'm going to get this into the mold. So some of these do thicken, so I'm going to just quickly get these in. So you can see that base is already thickening up, but we should be okay. So just get this into the mold. And this one, and pour high. Okay, and the black. Some of that, and I just need a chopstick. So I'm just going to run my chopstick through this like I normally would. <laughs> it's thickening up already. That's fine. One, five, one, two, three. Oh my god, I'm stressed. <laughs> it's all right, we've got a handle on it, but it does like to move pretty fast. This one, so. What we need to do now is get our colours and our sections.
Okay, I'm just going to put this upside down. I've already cut one of these. I'm just going to cut this one so you can see what it came out like. And take it out of the mould. I'm going to get some more of these moulds. I, I want one more so I can just get a few double batches made or a couple of double batches made each time I'm making the soap. Um, so they're not too badly priced for this country anyway, like they, they're pretty good, they're pretty good solid moulds for the price. Okay, I just want to trim my edges off. Just go down the sides and the back there. So, what's been going on this week? We've been busy with Easter orders from last weekend. We had a Easter sale. We generally do an Easter sale each year. Um, so I've been packing orders this week and I've made this soap. I haven't really done much other than that. It's been busy. Being busy just um, just packing orders just takes so much time that I have to sort of focus on getting those things done. That's the most important thing is getting orders out the door when it's busy. So I'm just going to cut this like did before okay that's what this looks like on the top I'm gonna be cutting these on the tank in a minute um, because in these molds the way I've calculated it is that uh, the recipe is that they come, they have, they're higher, they're a lot higher in the mould. Um, and I'm just torn at the moment whether to continue with them like this and cut them on the tank as an inch cut or whether to change it up again and go back to chunky bars. So I just don't really know what to do because I don't actually mind both of these. I'll show you in a minute. An example of what I mean. I do just like to have a really, um, a really good chunky bar of soap. It's just the way that I like them. So I'll show you what I mean. Okay, I've got two examples here. So I've got my regular ones. So they're quite low. These are my regular ones that are the chunks. So this is just a bar of lime cooler here. So it's a chunk in the in the hand. They're about between 140-150 grams. So it's a nice chunky bar. And then these that I'm cutting at the moment, this is one of the Inches Lane soaps I've cut. These are more like a tile shape and they're not so wide because they're cut on an inch cutter. So, like you can see them both together, these ones are higher, these ones are lower. But they're both about the same weight so there you go there's a chunk and a thinner piece so what do you prefer because i don't i'm torn i like both i do like both and it doesn't really matter but there's just something about a chunk that just gets me every time i do love a chunky bar of soap um so yeah i don't really know what to do let me know in the comments what you prefer and obviously a lot of you are going to be other soap makers so it doesn't really matter but um, yeah, I don't think my customers mind which ones I make. I'm just going to chop these and then these get, get, sorry, these get cut into two bars. Two bars, although they would be nice if you could leave them this size. <laughs> They're huge. These are just the end pieces, so I get another two, two bars out of these. The size of that. They're lovely. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> so I'm just going to cut this last chunk into some samples. And I go straight through the middle, out there, and then we just cut through these. And I just put these in order, so these little pieces just get given as freebies with orders. And... It's actually a good way of people trying a new scent if they've not tried it before. Order, so they, I like these little sizes. And then just go onto the curing rack with the rest. Okay, so I'm going to cut 
one of these loaves so you can see what they've come out like inside and I'll cut those in a second as well so the swirls I'm hoping have come out nice on this batch as well so I'm going to cut the one with the nicest top here look at that it's like a mountain range all right so I get 12 I get like straight 12 straight cut bars out of this this is another good part about um this mold is I get bang on 12 bars of soap and you can get the whole thing onto the cutter so that's that's a bonus so let's see what we've got that's just the end piece um where am I I'm putting them down here Okay, so the swirl's starting to come inside there. Let's see what the rest of them are like. Okay, now it's starting to get down a bit further inside the bars. So each one will be different because they just are when you do them in a big slab mould. That's quite nice. That's like one of those, what they called? Is it an ink blonde? Ink? Oh my god, ink blocked test or something like that. <laughs> okay, that looks like a drop swirl. So some bits the chopstick doesn't quite hit. There's another drop swirl in there. So there, okay. I'll chop another one, see what the next one's like, because they're all going to be different. Let's get this one out of the way. But this was such a blooming... Oh, I'm so glad I made them like I did, but it was pretty stressful that making. I was really like really hot <laughs> after I'd finished making it. I was like fully enough. I thought, oh goodness, a thing to put yourself through. But it, it's it felt so good to have made them all in one go. It was great. It was great. Okay, that might be a bit different. No. Nope. So this one's a bit more further down inside, that's nice. A bit more further down inside the, the bars where we've got our swirls going through. So yeah, these look pretty good. I do get better swirls when I'm using um, just my five pound nurture loaf moulds. They do seem to um, just work a bit better for getting my swirl with my chopstick, but these still look pretty nice. They still look pretty nice. They're just a different style, different style of swirl that you get. That's not. That's got all kinds of stuff going on in there. But either tops. So I've got eighty-four bars. I think it is out of all that. So I've got one more to cut, and then I'll be chamfering those, and then I'm going to go home because it's got really late. Well, not really. Late. It's quarter to five. I've been waiting all day to cut this soap. I've been busy another stuff so okay I'm going to continue trimming these then listen to a little uh I'm listening actually to Samaya Samad <laughs> I'm not watching Maria gentle whispering her videos she always makes me feel nice and chill and then we'll go home and see what Matt's been doing he's been making pots this week he's been super busy he's been working till 11 o'clock at night in that blooming workshop but he's got to get stuff made he's um He's done a load of bowls this week. He's been making some pictures, and I think he's yeah he's made some really really nice beakers. If you follow him on Instagram, you'll see what he's been up to because he's been posting daily. Have a look. I'll leave his link below. You can go and have a look what he's been making at home. Okay, I will be back for the next one. I don't know what I'm making next, but it'll be another double batch. So hopefully it won't be as stressful as this one. I will see you then. Okay, ta-ta.